Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Knowledge Factory UPSC. My name is Hari Sengar. I am here to our channel. My name is Knowledge Factory UPSC. You are active on Instagram and Facebook. Our page is mainly concentrated on UPSC and PSC classes. We are very interested in PSC classes and PSC classes. In PSC classes, we are interested in question and answer. We are interested in question and answer. That is why we are interested in UPSC and NDRL different. Nampaknya kan, satu topik itu nalar. Topik ini kurang cerita nampaknya itu. Eighty sesudah kari orang yang matra ini, nampaknya ini kurang cerita answer yang mereka tulis. So we are moving with UPSC classes. Okay. Apo, saya ni, ini le pala pala bishing lah ini le kundo orang desi kita nalar. Economics, geography, politics, segala macam. Berbagai bishing lah ini nanti kundo orang nalar. Pala pala latihan pelajaran macam class itu nalar. First of all, nampaknya economics itu nene terang. As we know, Indian economics is the best economy in the world. So uh, we are moving through the economic series of classes and uh, in these classes we are going through uh, several topics and I have written these topics on my board okay first of all we are dealing with uh, in my classes first of all we are dealing with national income this national income in this uh, in this topic we will mainly deal with GDP GNP NNP uh, market price factor price etc and uh, second topics will be on banking system in this system, uh, in the banking system, we will mainly deal with RBI, uh, commercial banks, financial banks, etc. And RBI, uh, the banking system is also very important, uh, important syllabus uh, when we come to the UPSC prelims model. In the third session, we will move through monetary policy. As we know, the monetary policy of India is very important in the prelims perspectives as well as PSC and UPSC perspectives. So. In monetary policy, we will mainly deal with CRR, cash reserve ratio, SLR, statutory liquidity ratio, repo rate, reverse repo rate, etc. And the fourth topic will be on stock market. Stock market is also very important in the terms of PSC examinations. So we have to know what is stock market, what are the basic amenities in the stock market and what are the features of stock market, what are money market, what are the bull mar bullish markets, bearish markets, stack market, etc. So we will detailly discuss that subject in our stock market. Next, the fifth topic is mainly deals with financial policy and the financial policy will be always always an important topic in, a, in an UPSC examination, in the UPSC examination as well as its mains model. So, in the physical policy, we will mainly go through budgeting, taxation, different type of taxes, what are the different type of budgets, India's budgetary policy, what is a budget, etc. So, in the fifth, in the fifth topic, we will go through physical policy. In the sixth session, we will move through what is inflation, what is deflation, what is inflation, etc. And in the, and the main concentration will be on CPI, WPI. That means consumer price index, wholesale price index, measures to control the inflation and the deflation, etc. And the seventh topic will be on, will be on foreign trade. It is also very important in the terms of PSC and UPSC examinations view. So the foreign trade is also an important topic that will be discussed on seventh classes or the seventh schedules. And the eighth topic is based on agriculture. Agriculture is also very important. Uh, topic because it is very comprehensive and uh, in, in comprehensive examinations or when we come through preliminary uh, on the preliminary examinations there are comprehensive questions too so Indian agriculture and agriculture system of India is also very important in the terms of UPSC and the PSC examinations and the ninth and the ninth lecture will be on industry Indian industries are very Indian industry is very wide and uh, it is also very important in the terms of examination point of view. So we will go through the industry in a go through the industrial policies and the formation of the industry since independence till now. In the ninth in the ninth session, we will go through World Trade Organization. What is World Trade Organization? What are the features of World Trade Organization? And uh, what are the uh, what are the activities that the World Organization or the World Trade Organization um, the leads, etc. On the eleventh on the eleventh session, we will deal with what is World Bank. What are the features of World Bank and what is World Bank? Uh, what are the functions of World Bank, etc. 
in the 12th lecture we will go through what is imf or international monetary fund what are the functions of international monetary funds and the matters regarding international monetary fund in the 13th session will be on poverty poverty is an important or the poverty is very important issue in india since now so uh, we will go through the uh, subjects regarding poverty what are the uh, what are the government schemes which we are uh, which we are introducing for the elevation of poverty elevation schemes and uh, what can we do to reduce poverty and uh, the current issues regarding poverty 14th lecture will be on unemployment unemployment is also very important and a very crucial problem in india now we will go through what is unemployment what are the uh, types of unemployment what is the features of unemployment and how can we reduce unemployment and the fifth classes will be on planning now we as we know that there is no planning committee and uh, now there is niti ayog and uh, main main focus will be on niti ayog and what are the what are the features of indian planning and uh, indian planning committee etc 16th uh, 16th lecture will be on government schemes and current affairs that mainly deals with which are the government schemes were introduced in india and uh, uh, what are the main uh, what are the main policies introduced in india in the terms of economics and uh, we will also move through economics current affairs too our classes will be our classes on all these topic will be based on current affairs so it will help you in your uh, upsc exam as well as psc examinations so um, uh, our classes will be also available in our whatsapp group the number will be mentioned below and um, our handwritten notes are also available if you want go through this number uh, if you want just message to this number and um, uh, extra materials will be available also thank you